The planet Earth, a blue paradise in space. Is it the only habitable planet in the universe? Or are there other places somewhere out there where life could be possible? It's a question that's long interested scientists and has become a key field of research. Scientists in Potsdam are studying planets that we already know exist. They want to know whether they could support life. Looking for planets outside our solar system that might be habitable is complex for a number of reasons. The problem with discovering extrasolar planets is that the light of the central star outshines the light of the planet. When you look at the sky, all you see is the stars, not their planets, which may well exist. Small, rocky planets like Earth can only be discovered from space, as only they pass in front of their sun. That's why the U.S. space agency, NASA, sent the Kepler Space Telescope into space. Kepler is equipped with a main mirror about a meter and a half in diameter. Its mission is to track down habitable planets by studying the stars. If a planet passes in front of its star, the light of the star is dimmed ever so slightly. The satellite has to detect the tiniest fluctuations in the star's light to discover the planet. If the Earth passes in front of the Sun, for example, the Sun's light decreases by just 0.01%. Another problem is that these so-called planetary transits are extremely rare. So the Kepler satellite focused on a larger area, honing in on the Cygnus constellation, which derives its name from the Greek word for swan. There it kept a constant eye on 150,000 stars. To do that, it had to be exactly aligned so that each star retained the exact same position on the detector. Only then could Kepler detect the tiny changes in light caused by passing planets. The next question is whether any of these distant worlds could be habitable. That's what scientists on the ground are now busy studying. The planet has to be orbiting in a habitable zone, not too close or too far away from its sun. Water in liquid form is necessary for life on Earth, for example, so if the temperature on another planet is somewhere between zero and 100 degrees centigrade, then liquid water could be there, which would be positive for the development of life. But Kepler won't be finding a second planet Earth. Its mission was aborted in August. Two of the probe's reaction wheels are defective. Without these, it can no longer align itself with sufficient accuracy. The mission was going to be extended because it was so successful. So far, Kepler has discovered 135 new exoplanets. The smallest of these is only a little larger than our moon. That's tiny. But Kepler's most spectacular discovery was a planetary system that appears to be very similar to our own. It has two Earth-like planets orbiting in the habitable zone, making them the most promising candidates in the search for exoplanets that could support life. There are now thought to be many more such planets than previously thought. Based on Kepler's discoveries, we can estimate that there are maybe 50 billion planets in the Milky Way, of which 500 million could be habitable. How similar these planets are to Earth, and whether there really is any form of life there, will be the focus of future missions.